Blackley, notoriously the most haunted village in Britain. Throughout this documentary, we aim to discover whether ghosts exist or if businesses are exploiting the public's thirst for knowledge. There are various stories, you know, about ladies in white, the usual sort of thing, um, people on, riding on a horse, um, and uh, there are, obviously there are a lot of people who take it seriously. I mean, I, I find it difficult as a priest. Uh, I believe in a spirit, that of course is the Holy Spirit in, in church terms or Christian terms, and uh, it involves the essence of a person. And I believe obviously that something still exists after people die. There are lots and lots and lots of things associated with the pub to do with the paranormal side. We believe we have two here, uh, one of which is a little girl called Elizabeth. Um, we don't know very much about her, but she's primarily based around the mid restaurant where you've got a large ingle nook fire and the rear. Um, lots of activities with her, um, different people have, have seen and witnessed different things. Um, primarily it's, um, it's members of staff especially the girls when they're walking from the bar to the kitchen at night. Very often they will say that um, they've heard their names being whispered. That odd things like the lights will flicker on and off. Um, Sarah, my partner and myself have been upstairs when the pub's closed. And we've heard the piano, which you can clearly see is, um, is down, the box is down. Villagers are very sceptical. Um, they, they've seen it all before. Uh, a lot of people are here for a social event. You know, it's a gathering, uh, the pub is full, um, and people have a good time wandering around the woods, swapping stories. It's obviously dark in um, end of October, early November, um, so you can make it quite spooky if you want to. Um, find the odd owl hooting around, you know, it's, it's an atmospheric thing. But I think it's more social than, than serious. I mean, there are serious ghost hunters, but I think they're very much in the minority. We get the very serious paranormal investigators who come um, and they generally engage with us beforehand and we allow them access to, to the property you know, up until in, in the early hours of the morning. So they're able then to set their imagery and their sound and, and recording equipment up and be left alone to their own devices so they can do what they do best. I mean, I, I did come across somebody one day who said there's a room in our house that's very, very cold and we don't go into it. And uh, the reason it was cold was because the radiator had been turned off for years because the, the daughter had died in there and nobody wanted to go in the room. So there was a rational explanation for why it was so cold. But at the back of it was this feeling that that's where our daughter died, you know, and that, that, that that's still a special place. I've lived here now for two and a half years and there is something else, there's something going on. I can't explain what it is. But the people who do believe, I can understand and, you know, I can basically, um, you know, sympathise or emphasise with them um, that there is something else going on.